everyone, Mrs. Keitel here. We are going to go over our other research and planning assignment. The plan for this is going to take us about a week and a half. Uh, we don't want to take too much more time than that because each day if we're following our steps, we should be making progress to get done so that we can move on to our next lesson. For today, we're going to look at Canvas and we're going to see where everything is that we need to get us started, get us brainstorming, and be working our way towards making our students. When you get into Canvas today, you'll need to go to Modules. So I'm going to go ahead and put myself in your student view. Um, once you get those modules, oops, there we go. Once you get to your module, you'll see at the bottom we have the Artist Research and Parity. So you'll click on here. This assignment is worth quite a few more points than our other ones. So make sure that you're putting the time and effort allotted for this. Make sure that you are earning and giving your best effort towards those 50 points. Now what you will do is start off by finding an artist. This might be an artist that you've learned about in the past, maybe one of your favorite artists. They could be a painter, a sculptor. It could be any sort of media that you enjoy. But you've got to find an artist and think about their style. So the artist example I have here is Vincent van Gogh. And we know that Vincent van Gogh's Starry Night is well known for the swirls and dashes. It also has such a beautiful play with those cool colors in contrast with the warm colors of the stars. But you can see here that this original work was stylistically modeled but changed to be more modern and also to be funny, to have a little spoof on it. So a parody is supposed to have a little bit of that humor there and transforming it also to things that you have interest in or to things that are more relevant to our culture. Uh, Batman is definitely a more modern take on this starry night. Once you start thinking about uh, what artist you want, you can follow the specific directions here. You'll see in this PowerPoint, you're going to find an original piece by the artist that you like, and you're going to think about and brainstorm for that parody. Now, you need to use the same composition as the original piece and the same style, but the goal is to add something or change something about it, okay? Once we would be done with that, we would want to sketch the entire style, sketch that parody, and then move into our coloring. We'll have multiple options for that today. We're not going to get too far into that within these directions, um, but just know everything you need is going to be on Canvas. So the directions are through that link. At the bottom, you're also going to find a template. This is going to force you to make a copy, which is great, because then we won't be changing each other's. We'll all have our own document. So you're going to hit make a copy. Immediately, once you make a copy, please change copy of, copy of to your name. So it'll have your name, your artist style parody, and you will work in this document for all of your progress and to put images of your work. All right, y'all, start brainstorming, start doing some artist research, whether you're doing Google searches, checking out artists on Instagram, maybe um, inspecting and kind of finding things on Pinterest. We have a ton of options. I want you to think outside the box and be creative. Find an artist you connect with and see how you can make a parody. All right, y'all, I look forward to seeing how everything turns out in our planning. Get going.